So, how many phased array scanners can you fit inside of uh, one industrial sized case like this? Uh, as it turns out, quite a few. Uh, recently, my friends Kevin Morgan and Sean Meerholtz with Detect Inspection Services dropped off this kit full of scanners to have me go over and uh, test out. And that's what we're going to do right now. So, stay tuned. Okay, so the first scanner that we're going to look at, uh, uh, the line of scanners, by the way, it's called the Scan Buddy line. And uh, the first one we're going to look at is called a Wheel Buddy. So, uh, single wheel encoder connected to a uh, universal probe holder that's got uh, mounts for you know several different types of uh, wedge connections. Pretty universal. Uh, I'm using a 5L64A2 transducer and I'm going to be uh, scanning with TFM on a half inch thick carbon steel weld. So I'm going to place the wedge on my specimen. Uh, I've already got coupling on there. I'm going to hit play. And again, this is a uh, TFM setup. Uh, scanning down the weld, you see my root and toe geometry. Right there is a volumetric indication, uh, porosity, keep scanning. I can scan at a pretty good rate. A little further, there's a toe crack on the 90 side and scan off the plate. Okay, the next scanner that we're going to look at in the uh, Scan Buddy series, this is called the Single Weld Buddy. Uh, as you can see, it's got four magnetic wheels with rubber tires and again, the universal probe holder that's got spring tension on it. Uh, this thing tracks really, really well. It can go down to a two inch diameter, 50 millimeter pipe, all the way up to a flat. Uh, I really like this one a lot. This would be good for your small to medium sized jobs with one probe. And I'm gonna use it to scan the 270 side of the same weld that we scanned a moment ago. Uh, probe's in position and just gonna scan down my part. Got a nice lack of fusion indication there at the beginning. And uh, you see this thing just kind of glides across. It tracks a really nice straight line, pull a really good scan, and, uh, and that's it. The last scanner that we're gonna look at today is the, uh, the Weld Buddy. So this is a dual probe, four magnetic wheels, really strong magnets, four inches to flat. Let's take a scan with it. All right, for our last scan, um, I've just set up a pair of TOF probes and we're going to scan down this one inch plate. Nice and easy, just like you'd expect any other scanner to do. Tracks in a nice straight line all the way through and there we go. Okay, that takes care of the Weld Series scanners uh, from the Scan Buddy line. Uh, what I didn't get a chance to show were the corrosion scanners. So this is the Corrosion Buddy. It is a dual axis, uh, semi-automated corrosion mapping scanner. Uh, really, really cool. I haven't had a chance to, to really record with it yet, um, but I will. They also make another one called the Matrix, and it's a pair of string encoders. And when you combine them together, you get uh, kind of like a paintbrush scanner. If you've seen those for corrosion, where you can uh, you know, move the probe anywhere and it'll map out uh, your movement. So cool line. I want to thank Sean Meerholtz and Kevin Morgan for dropping these scanners off and letting me uh, uh, play with them for uh, the past couple months. Um, I'll leave some links down below in the description for you to find, uh, contact them and find the scanners. So uh, anyway, um, I've been out of town for a little while and I've been away from uh, my studio here, but I'm back in the lab and I'll be here uh, for the next few months. So I plan on putting out some more content to help you guys level up those UT skills. So take care and uh, I'll see you next time.